Haley, it's really good to see you. It's good to see you too. Yeah, thanks for popping in today. So I have a few questions for you. Sure. Um, just about reachability. Why did you decide to come to reachability and um, what brought you there? Um, so I decided to sign up for reachability because I was at uh, work for five years. I really felt my confidence was really low. I didn't feel like I was able to get back in the workforce. I actually saw an average find that for you guys on social media. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was working with the social worker at the time. So I brought it to her and said, hey, like, I'm pretty good about that. She said, she's heard really good things about you guys from the previous time. So I decided to sign up and yeah, that's what will be there. Oh, that's really good to hear. So uh, can you list three things about reachability that um, stand out to you and why they stand out to you? Um, honestly, the first thing that comes to mind is like the community. I really connected really well with like, Honestly, all my instructors, everyone I met with, um, the people in my group, I felt they connected really well with them too, which looked like chat every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just really felt the community was really well, they were really good. Um, I felt that there were days, you know, that I didn't, I was having a really bad day and I could go to reachability and I would leave having a great day. So it's like I could, it could bring my mood down to up the exit. Oh, that's really yeah. good to hear. Okay. Is there, is there one thing that stands out more than the others? Uh, Honestly, probably like the support of everyone. It just, like I said, I you walk in there and from Crystal to Toba to you to Marcus, like everybody there had a smile on their face and was ready to support me and listen to me. And it just, it felt really good. Like I did not, literally did not have a bad experience with anyone. <laughs> okay. And we're happy to hear that. Um, so how do you feel reachability and you attending there? Um, contributed to where you were today. You're doing so well. We're all so proud of you. Um, so how did that help on your journey? I mean, on, I really honestly feel like I wouldn't be where I am today without reachability because when I started there, I really felt like, oh, maybe I'll get a part-time job and get a little bit of income and that's kind of where I'll be. But then I got that part-time job with the head help reachability and I just felt like there was more. I was like, what else can I do? Like, I felt like I had so much confidence and I was so self-assured that I finally felt like I could maybe work part-time maybe or full-time maybe go back to school you know things that I felt I couldn't do before so yeah like I said reachability just felt filled me with so much confidence that I am where I am because of them oh I think that's really good to hear um so just in closing what advice could you give to someone who finds themselves where you were you know, um, you know, and might be a little hesitant to do so. Um, what would you tell them to do? Honestly, the best advice I was given is just show up. Um, my first day at One Step Closer, honestly, I was four hours late. I was having an awful day and I just told myself I need to show up because if I don't, I'm not going to. So I just, even though it was only two hours, I showed up, did those two hours and I didn't stop. So even if you feel like, you know, you're not in your best self or you know, you can only half show up. Even if you can just half show up, just just do it. And, um, yeah, that's great. And thanks so much, Haley. I really appreciate this. And again, we are so proud of you at Reachability. Yeah. And I tell everyone who comes to our doors, when you succeed, we celebrate. And we have been doing a lot of celebrating with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank, thank you. you. Thank you for chatting with me today. And thank you for sharing that wonderful information. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me. Thanks.